enjoying your time here. Um, the uh, social media and social gaming has added a whole new dimension to uh, the interactive experience, especially uh, the ability to share information and scores, purchases, see what other people are buying, for example. Um, how do you see location entering into the sphere that Zynga are in? You know, it, it's interesting. Our games are all about connecting uh, with your friends and family in play. And uh, right now we're really focused on web and mobile. Um, I think that the location-based uh, innovations that I've seen have largely been in mobile. I wish I was an expert on that side of the house, but I'm really a web game focused guy. But I can't wait to see what people come up with. There's a lot of fun to be had. Um, the whole uh, area of social gaming um, as a genre marches overall. I mean, Farmville and Frontierville have a massive following. Um, in terms of um, the, the overall gaming space, I mean, the console gaming space has dominated the scene for a long time. PC gaming has. Uh, what do you see the future of social game? Where do you see the future of social media, uh, social media gaming heading in terms of like, will it overtake console gaming? Has it overtaken console gaming already? Uh, where do you see the most lucrative end of the market? You know, I think that um, I'm really glad that there's so many forms of entertainment these days, and that there's so many places that I can be entertained. I mean, you know, uh, you've got an iPad in your hand, and it's like, what a great escape! You know, you could be out shopping with your girlfriend and and uh, find a nice quiet corner and dive into your phone and find some games to play. Um, I think that there's room at the table for everybody, um, and so I'm, you know, from a, as a social game uh, maker, uh, I think our games offer a rich, persistent experience that, uh, you know, when we launch a game, that's really just the beginning, that every week we're striving to put new features every week in our games and continue to find new ways to delight and engage our players. And so that's what it's really about for us. I think that, you know, there's really room at the table for everyone. Uh, you made a point earlier that you know the earlier earlier Zynga games are more akin to maybe what you'd see on a Commodore 64 gaming experience or on, on, you know yeah on your, on your watch. Back in the early days, yeah, our some of our early uh, our games in the early days like Dive Man were really simple, and the social was really limited to, is my high score higher than your high score? Which is, uh, for all of us that play video games, that's sort of the cornerstone of video games. Is my high score higher than your high score? Um, and then as our games have evolved, our games have become that, way more social than that. You know, you're, you're helping your friend uh, raise a barn. You're helping your friend uh, get the things they need to have a spouse, right? In Empires and Allies, our newest game, uh, you're helping your friend defend themselves against a, a marauding army. So we're really trying to kind of deepen the connections and, and uh, deepen the fun. Um, do you think the quality of the games, I mean, as you say, has, has evolved from those uh, simple uh, bit-like games, but, you know, to a point where it might even rival console gaming in terms of just even the experience. You know, those console games are really, really uh, deep and rich. So our, our, our games are um, mass market and fun. You know, uh, you take something like a first person shooter and, you know, I'm not going to play first person shooter with my granny. Um, I mean, maybe one day grandmas will be playing first person shooters. Uh, but right now we're happy to make games that really appeal to the largest uh, amount of, uh, of our audience as possible. And that's really been our focus. Um, I, I kind of see where it's going from the point of view that my, my first uh, awareness of Zynga was as a PC platform on, on Facebook when Facebook was really taking off to a point now that most people I know play Zynga games, play them on their mobile. Um, what new platforms do you see entering the sphere, like for example, TV, for example? You know, really, uh, Zynga is going to go where the players are. And right now, our players are, are, are on Facebook and they're on mobile phones, and, and that's really what we're focused on. Um, in terms of Ireland, I mean, uh, Zynga is a, a welcome addition to a great coterie of companies that we have here. Um, what were the things that attracted you here? I mean, we have Facebook here, we have Amazon, we have Google, we have the who's who really. Um, but what, what, what were the things that attracted to Zynga to Dublin? So I think that really the IDA um, has been ins instrumental in, uh, the IDA has been instrumental in Zynga um, arriving and thriving in Dublin. Uh, the talent pool here is rich, and the IDA did a great job of helping us find great people right off the bat and really getting our operation going very quickly. When you consider that we're only four years old, the ability to find um, a country like Ireland and a city like Dublin that's so ready to help us get up and running it has been key to our success. Uh, a lot of people will be wondering, God, oh, Zynga, I'd love to work there. Well, what kind of people are you looking for? Wow, that's a great question. We are looking for uh, customer care representatives, community managers, IT, uh, business operations, and human resources professionals. A lot of people would love to work in gaming, as I said. Um, 
what would be the, the key things? If, if I was a kid now watching this and saying, okay, I'd love to work in Zynga or I'd love to develop a game for Activision or someone, uh, what, would, what would be your advice to someone who's looking at this area right now or maybe looking at a career change? What would they need to do to really work in this area? Well, certainly, you know, if you're out there and you're looking for a career change, please visit our website at zynga.com slash jobs. And we have all of our listings there for customer care, community management, IT, human resources, and business operations are all listed there. So there's plenty of information there. Uh, if you're a kid and you're trying to figure out uh, what to do with yourself, certainly play video games, but also um, study. Um, get into a good school. And if you're into um, computers and uh, coding, then get started now. There's plenty of opportunities to learn and hone your craft. Marcus, thank you very much. Sure, pleasure to be here.